focus on was to explore excitement. How could we understand the excitement that fans have whilst watching football physiologically and to take that information and compare and contrast that with what happens inside the DTR, um, the driving excitement. The first step to deciding how to monitor excitement was to explore wearable technologies and so the idea was could we use heart rate monitors, breathing rate sensors, uh, arousal sensors to put them on fans whilst watching the games. Likewise, uh, how those folks respond whilst in the GTR, for example, on the track. So the similarities that we saw came from the Bayern Munich Juventus match, which was 4-2, and the GTR day. We found that the heart rate responses of the supporters at the match and the GTR passengers were broadly comparable. So the main differences we saw were in the physiological responses of the passengers and the supporters' breathing rates. So during the UEFA Champions League football matches, the breathing rates could have increased during an event or they could have gasped for breath because of the event and the breathing rate could have decreased. However, during the GTR track day, breathing rate increases, which suggests that there's more of a sustained excitement throughout the track day passenger experience. So what we concluded is that both events are equally exciting, but that the supporters and the passengers experience that excitement in very different ways. The ultimate aim of this is to try and create a global excitement index across a whole broad range of activities. And with Nissan, the sky's the limit of where we might go next with this.